All right, the project at hand right now is I want to undercoat all my vehicles. So let's start with these two. The reason I want to undercoat them is because in the winter time, the roads get covered in salt for melting ice, which is pretty unnecessary. And the salt destroys, it rusts them all right out. Um, these two are actually in surprisingly good shape for their age. And I want to keep them that way. So we're going to undercoat these. All right, first, let's get started. Let's pressure wash both of them.
All right, so we got this thing up on the lift to apply the fluid film. So you can see the frame on this. It's got surface rust, but it's still very solid. I mean, if this was some other brands, this being a 2002 and having 240,000 on it, a lot of other brands don't last this long. They would be a, would have been rusted out years ago. Um, but I want to keep this thing from rusting. I feel like that stuff will work better on the rust. So let's get started. That stuff is thick. faster drill. This stuff is uh, thicker than I thought. Let's see if this will pump it into the... No. You can just paint this stuff on.
All right, this here is a uh, 360 nozzle. The idea is you put it in all the frame holes. All right, one more thing I want to fluid film here is this trailer. Because I, usually I won't use trailers in the winter time because I don't want to get salt on them, but I need to use this right now. You know, I was trying to get it on its side, but this also works. All right, the last job I had this on, the driveway was like a mile of mud, so let's wash it first.
little bit of a setback here. I, when I flipped it back down, I ripped off a brake line. So let's uh, fix that. I'm just gonna change these bra steel brake lines with uh, the copper nickel. This While I'm at it, I'm just doing all new brake lines. This is the copper stuff that doesn't rust. Is it going good or? It's coming. All right, I got it here. You got it? Push this to... Step on. All right, yeah, step on the brakes. All right, I just got all the brakes fixed on this thing, so that was a bit of a setback, but at least it's got the better brake lines now. When I did the video restoring this trailer over the summer, a few people had questions how these brakes work. This is a surge brake system where when you step on the brakes in the truck, it pushes in the tongue of this thing. Yep. That's what puts the brakes on the trailer. It works really well. It's a lot smoother than electric brakes. Um, and this is the breakaway thing. This hooks the truck. Once that gets pulled, it locks the brakes on. And, um, and I actually replaced this entire assembly. It didn't quite make that video, but one, like the master cylinder wasn't priming and then it needed a few miscellaneous little parts So it was just cheaper to buy the entire thing All right, so I've been driving for a while in the snow. Let's get back and check out that Mitsubishi I've been driving the car for a few days on some salty snowy roads. So you can see here, here's like an example of like salt. That's a big salt crystal. So let's put the car up on the lift and take a look at what the frame looks like. This is what the frame looks like after driving this thing on snowy, salty roads for a while. So I think it's going to work pretty good. The whole frame has like a wet oil coating on it. And I think that should really keep it from rusting. <laughs> 